Stolozzi was born January 12, 1746, in Zurich, Switzerland. A Capricorn, he was very hardworking and disciplined, which showed in his life's work. He was raised in a super strict, controlling environment, and often called very socially inept. His grandfather was Andreas Pestalozzi, a minister in a rural village called Hong. This inspired Johann's drive to help disadvantaged Swiss peasants. His early career was focused in taking in and helping the poor. In 1774, Pestalozzi opened his first school, which was self-sustaining with a heavy focus in agriculture. This institution, however, only lasted until 1779 due to financial instability. When his school in Nohof collapsed, he took in the students to his home and taught them traditional schoolwork alongside spinning and weaving. His goal was for these pupils to be self-sustaining humans. As most of the students were orphans, Pestalozzi found it necessary to give them what they otherwise wouldn't have. He found great success in this method. He then spent 30 years in isolation writing on this Newhoff estate. His most popular piece of work being How Gertrude Teaches Her Children, which was published in 1801, which was a critique on traditional school. His countryman originally ignored his writings, but in the post-French Revolution, French-imposed Helvetic Republic in Switzerland, they asked him to run higher education, but he chose to run elementary education, emphasizing that the beginning is where he found most purpose. After this busy career, he went back to his Newhof estate in Germany and wrote his swan song right before his death. His insert swiss word here published in 1826 cumulated in the maxim life itself educates concept that we associate Pestalozzi with is the philosophy of natural education, which stresses maintaining the student's dignity and emotional stability while also placing a heavy focus on actively engaging with one's environment. He believed that education should be done with the head, heart, and the hands. Pestalozzi influenced education by being the father of pedagogy. He championed the concept that education was in and of itself a worthy academic study. His ideas are seen in elementary schools around the world. Teachers at that level are taught a holistic style of teaching that takes into the account the emotional safety of students as well as academic abilities. The idea of hands-on learning child permissiveness and a child center school is also heavily based in Pestalozzi's theories. If Pestalozzi did not exist, we would not have the same focus on making sure school is safe and accessible to all students. Elementary school would still have a focus in memorization instead of being a holistic approach that includes tactile elements at its core. A question that I've had is that school safety has been an issue in the past few years with the sharp increase in school shootings. Considering the background of Johann Pestalozzi and his work, how do you think he would approach this subject? <laughs>